Ralph Andy David Anderson, 90, formerly of Tallahassee, Florida, went to heaven Saturday, May 20th, 2017, after struggling with complications from a stroke he suffered in April of 2016. Ralph was born on December 3rd, 1926 in Waterloo, Iowa, to James Dewey and Beulah Cutshaw Anderson, the third of four children. A naturally gifted athlete, he attended Waterloo East High School. Lettering in three sports, he also led the school swing band and was active in student government. He graduated in 1945 and was immediately drafted into the Army Air Corps, serving in the Pacific Rim and was stationed in a tiny little place called Kwajalein. He served as staff photographer with the 509th B-29 Atomic Squadron and spent hours documenting island life before and after Able Day Baker Day. During this time, he also played semi-pro baseball for the Army Air Corps, which resulted in a professional tryout with the Cleveland Indians. Sadly, his big league aspirations were crushed by an experimental surgery done to correct a minor foot injury. The foot was left weaker, making him slower. It gave him constant pain for the rest of his life. At least he left Kwajalein with his smile intact. When Ralph returned home from the service, he moved to Minneapolis and began attending Northwestern College where he lettered in basketball and baseball. He also began a serious relationship with his wife-to-be during this time, and on August 20th, 1949, he married Eleanor Rogers at Walnut Street Baptist in Waterloo, Iowa. Ralph was recalled to the Air Force shortly after their marriage and was stationed in Roswell, New Mexico and then San Antonio, Texas. Following his military service, Ralph again returned to college and graduated in 1955. During his time at Northwestern, he served as student body president under the leadership of Reverend Billy Graham and once again lettered in both basketball and baseball. Following graduation, he worked briefly as a youth pastor in the Twin Cities. Shortly thereafter, he began a long career in Christian education, working in college admissions at Westmont College in Santa Barbara, California. Then he was recruited to come back to head up alumni affairs at his alma mater and eventually became Dean of Admissions at Northwestern College in Roseville, Minnesota. During this time, he sported a variety of very snappy hairstyles. Here are just a few. After a long, successful academic career, Andy chose to share his ability to connect with total strangers by bagging groceries. First at Byerly's in Roseville, Minnesota, and then at Publix in Bradfordville, Florida, where he earned accolades until the age of 89. It wasn't unusual to have sweet older ladies chase him across the parking lot to try and jam up money into his pockets. And true to Publix protocol, he always refused to accept it. When he wasn't working, Ralph could be found watching sports of all kinds. He was especially drawn to Florida State University baseball and thoroughly enjoyed his season ticket family at Dick Houser Stadium. He also had a lifelong fascination with Roswell, New Mexico and things that transpired there during his last stand in the Air Force. If you wanted to know about UFOs, alien autopsies, disappearing nurses, or Area 51, he was your guy. Ralph is survived by Eleanor, his wife of 67 years, daughters Robin Giotti, husband Gary, Kari Anderson of Port Orange, and his bonus son Lawrence Green and wife Deborah of Panama City. He is also survived by his sister, Norma Behrens of Bentonville, Arkansas, sister-in-law Gay Holdeman and Kay Anderson, and dozens of beloved nieces and nephews. He was preceded in death by his parents, James Dewey and Beulah Cutshaw Anderson, his brother Russell Anderson, and sister Donna Anderson Scott. Ralph Anderson was a lot of things. Son, brother, airman, student, husband, father, uncle, boss, mentor, coach, encourager, friend, Christ follower. He never met a stranger. He made so many people smile. He'll be sorely missed by all who knew him. But we do not mourn as those who have no hope. We know we'll see him again.